All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of recreate this uh, pair cam so that it can be used in the assembly. So if you notice, I've already actually created the pair cam, uh, and I use it if I bring up this rollback bar. I uh, use it using kind of parametric equations. I set uh, the D variable to two and a half inches. And then I went ahead and I created my first sketch. And if you notice my first sketch, it has a part of a circle here, has part of a circle here. And then I created lines and I also made those tangent. Okay. Once I did that, then I went ahead and extruded it. Okay. So if you notice, here's my pair cam. You can see an earlier video for what we did. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and I'm going to make a copy. So hit duplicate. And if you notice now it says copy one, I'm going to go ahead and click on that, but I'm going to rename it. Uh, cause this is the one that we're actually going to be using the pair cam for the assembly. Um, and here's the reason being, we would use this pair cam to actually 3d print this pair cam. We would and are going to use in our assembly. Uh, and it's just kind of a little bit of a trick to be able to use a nice tool called the tangent tool when we are assembling our automata. So let's go ahead and get started. So at this point, as I mentioned, we have that pair cam. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And if you notice, it is on this side. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a sketch on the opposite side. And if you notice, you can see the two planes. Uh, and I'm going to view our new plane right up front. And what I'd like to do is now, where you are basically going to be using the spline tool up here at the top, and get really, 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 really close to the edge and kind of trace just above. So I'm going to click to start it, zoom out a little bit, uh, kind of click. And if you notice, it does snap. So if that's the case, if you want to get it fairly accurate, just keep clicking along the way, zoom out a little bit. Um, don't want to do that, but I'll go ahead and move it down. And then I will zoom in again, go ahead and click to keep making it stay as I draw uh, the line going all the way around. Okay. So as you kind of go around, remember, you want to get close to the edge. You don't want to touch the current edge. Like I do not want to get that orange line. We want to go just above because right now we're basically creating an edge that is kind of like one fluid surface. Uh, when we did even the tangent tool and when we used to create the original sketch of the pair cam, uh, it kind of created a segmented edge. And in order to use the tangent tool, we can't really have that segmented. Okay. And again, I'm going to try to avoid all of those kind of yellow or orange lines, just so that we can make sure that our Pair cam turns out as accurate as we would like it and that there aren't any kind of conflicts and or constraints that are on there that might end up causing an issue. Okay. So if you notice now I'm at the point where it starts to kind of curve around to the bottom. So I can't quite make my edges. So I'll kind of zoom out, zoom back in. Um, I can't make them so straight. I'm going to bring it down just to make sure I don't have any conflicts or overlaps. And there we go. We're getting really close. I know this takes a little bit of time, but just be patient with it. I promise you guys, I'm going to make sure I'm on that view. Um, doing this extra step and making this extra copy will really, really make creating your assembly a lot uh, easier and you won't have any kind of issues. So, Almost done with my pair cam as I'm using the spline tool to kind of create a border again around. And what we're going to be doing is basically adding to the cam and then kind of almost removing the old cam that has kind of the separate faces 
that run along the edge of the pear cam. And the key part of that again is so that we can use what we call a tangent tool when we assemble our automata in the program, okay? So that's kind of our goal and that's where we wanna to get to. And we are almost there. Can even kind of zoom up because I think we're even on the straight path. Yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it. All right, so if you notice, now I have this blue line. I'm not gonna quite hit green check yet, I will. But I'm gonna rotate it so you can kind of see what I did. So again, this was the original cam. The blue line is the outline of the new cam. So I'm gonna click on the green check. I'm gonna click on now extrude. And I want to select this new sketch, but just be careful. If you zoom in, you'll notice it's actually selecting that original outline. I want to make sure to select that one. So I'm going to click it, zoom out so I can make sure it did it. If you notice, it only did that difference, meaning the kind of the difference between that spline that I did and that face. And I want all of it. So now I'm going to click on that face. Awesome. That's looking way better. Now I'm gonna change the depth to a quarter because that's kind of our standard. Click on the open space to kind of see it. And now hit the green check, okay? So now if you notice, I kind of have two pair cams that are almost look as if they are glued together. One, it has a nice edge, one kind of surface going around. Uh, but the other one, the original one, it has one here, it has one here, it has one over there. And then it even has this over here. Okay, so you see how it's kind of segmented? That's what we want to eliminate now. So I'm going to hit the escape button once and click once. Um, and now we are going to, uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to remove this. So I'm going to click on extrude. I'm going to click on this face. And I now actually want to switch the direction and I want to remove it. Okay. And remember, I just want to remove that old original shape or pear cam that had the segmented edge, and that was a quarter of an inch thick. So I'm going to click to kind of give it a preview. And if you notice, awesome, it got rid of it. So hit green check. And I'm going to even uh, kind of hide that plane. And now, if you notice, we have this awesome looking pear cam awesome looking pair cam and what's great about it is it has this edge okay all right so in the next video we are going to go ahead and start to assemble our automata